One of the best ways I've found to not only organize your thoughts, but to teach yourself how to engage in perfect practice is to use image maps. What image maps are, are a notation system that you put on a separate layer to, to tell you what you want to do, to give you a reference point. The thing to keep in mind with image maps, that the ratios that you come up with, you're not married to, and any notation that you make, you're not married to. But it's a really, really good way to sort of see the trees from the forest. Frequently what happens is we look at an image and we see the whole thing at once. So here's how you create an image map. First, you start by creating your, a new layer. Next, select the pencil tool and make sure your opacity is at 100% and click on the color picker. Now the way I work is I descend down the color wheel, so I generally start with red. In this image, what I want to do is I'm going to build up areas of light to dark and I'm going to light the image and then I'm going to do um, selective depth of field. So the first thing I'm going to do is areas of light to dark. So I'm going to go by, this is the area on the face that I want the eye to go to first. So I'm just going to make a notation to myself that that's 100%. Doesn't mean that I have to make it 100%, it just means that in my notation that's where I want it to go. Next, let's make the brush just a little bit smaller what I want to have happen is I want to follow a natural progression of light. So light falls off as it gets bigger, so I'm going to say that that's going to be 50%. And then down here, I'm going to say that this is 50% as well. And then I want light to go that way, so it's going to go 25% to 50% to 0%. So we're going to give this a name, and we're going to call this L2DIM, Light to Dark Image Map. A good way to work is to give yourself an exit strategy and to give your layers meaningful names, so you know what they are. Now we've created that image map, let's create another one. Create a new layer, go to the color picker, let's pick purple, click OK. So what I want to have happen here is, let's say that I'm going to light this image. I want the eye to go here first, then here, and I'm going to light the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's create my background light where I want it to go. And I'm going to say that this is zero because I want this to be dark. And this is going to be 50%, 25%, and then I want the eyes to be 100%. And then the face to be 75 and 75. And then the body here to be, say, 25%. We're going to call this lighting. Now, generally what people see when they look at an image is they'll see all of that at once. But this is a great way to build, basically, a visual outline of what you're going to do. I do this a lot when I'm working on very complex images. I will make image maps after the fact so I know what it is that I've done so that I can go back if I want to adjust it or if I want to teach or if I need to make notations because a client needs that. Another thing that I use image maps for is if I'm sitting with a client, let's say we're retouching an image, and that client says to me, well, I want the lip area here, I want that to be redder. And fix stray hair. You see how I can notate to myself on an actual layer so that it's right there. Imaging is a, not a literary event, it's a visual event. And so it's a really, really good idea, I think, to work visually, to make a map of it, to make an image map of it. So that's how image maps work.